I was recently asked how I can make a shape in Visio across many pages uh, inherit the colour from a shape on another page. So I'm just going to draw here a, a rectangle and I'll give this a colour. Now just to show you what's going on here I'm going to insert a field and I'm going to put in the uh, ID of the shape which in this case is 1004. I'm going to go and hit return, insert a field here and I'm going to put in the page name. So and now I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see the font a bit easier. So I've got a shape here and I'm going to insert another page and now I'm going to use the uh, view uh, range hall range or oh, actually I'm going to create a new window. All right so I've now got page one on the left here and page two on the right. Now obviously if I was just to take a copy of this I'm using control uh, and drag and drop it here then there is no relationship so if I went to home here and change the fill color to something else then the second shape is not inheriting from it at all so that's no good so what if I was to uh, duplicate this here now and notice by the way that the idea has now gone up one there on this page and I'll just um, amend this slightly so you can see this is a separate one. Let me just pull out the uh, edges of that a little bit. All right, so it's a definitely a de separate shape. Now I can go into the shape sheet formula of this, for example, and let's open up the shape sheet. And on the fill foreground section, I can re refer to the other shape, which if you remember was 1004. So all I have to do here is put in equals sheet dot 1004 and then exclamation mark or bang. Oh, I better delete the rest of that formula. It's not, it's not required. In fact, why don't I blow this up a little bit so you can see it a bit better. And now put in fill foreground. All right. And so we can see here the fill foreground cell. So if I was just going to type that in, and now I'll go to this shape here and change the fill of that. Then we can see that it is inheriting the fill from the other one, which is okay. Now, what, what if I was to put that shape on another page? I'm just going to drag it down onto the second page and let go. And that will automatically delete the shape sheet window or remove it because it's now a different shape. It's 1001 on here. And if I was to go in and change the fill of the original one, it doesn't change on here. However, I could go into the shape sheet of this one if I wanted to, and you see that it's got a broken reference in there. So, oh, I'm now going to put back into there a, another formula, and I'll again open up the uh, edit formula window so we can see what's going on. So my original formula was that, but the a shape that I want to refer to is on a different page. So I'm going to type in pages uh, and open a bracket and that's going to be page one. Okay, so we're now on pages page one and then it's going to be uh, the exclamation mark again, which tells us to uh, ref reference a sh shape on there and it's sheet 1004 field ground, foreground. So I do okay on that and see how it takes on the colour of the previous shape on the other page. Now if I do shape and do a fill on that, you'll see that it is now updating the colour of the shape on the other page. So just do that once more. So fill and change it and we see it updates it. Great, so that works. In fact, if I was to take a duplicate of this and put this back onto the first page, now we should see that that will continue to work and it's now inheriting all the way through into all those. So we can have many copies of this if we wanted to. And on many pages, go back to my original one and fill it and it changes. That's great. However, the way I've got the formula written at the moment, of course, if I was to go to this one on another page and fill that separately, 
that's broken the formula. Okay. In fact, the original shape I did this on was this one here. And you see the fill foreground. So if I went in and I changed this to be something else, let's say that one, we can see it's it's now putting in the formula there and it's broken it. So what if I wanted to be able to push the colour from here back to the original shape? Okay, it's also possible. I'll go into edit here and put back the uh, formula that I just had, which was that. And in this case, time, I'm going to now use this nice little setup ref formula and close it within that. Okay, so now uh, currently you can see it's showing that uh, pinky color. And if I do OK, it's now reverted to the green. Moreover, now if I was to go and fill this one like so, it's updated that and the other ones. This one we already broke the formula of that, so I'll delete that. So here I can go in and I can change that and it's going to update it everywhere because this formula that I put in there pushes the value back into the original one and those other ones are inheriting from it. So uh, if I wanted to, I could delete those ones. I could now duplicate this one and maybe move it back onto the original page and any one of these now I should be able to uh, do the fill and it updates all of them all over, which is, I think, quite clever.